nutritionist Emily Cope is here with some healthier holiday cocktail ideas uh, for diabetics. Something to consider people in your life who perhaps uh, have to watch their sugar intake. They want to yeah. take part in the celebration yeah, of the New Year, too. But you're saying just, you know, keep a few things in mind. Yeah, so with the New Year's coming, it's a perfect time to talk about safe alcohol consumption because for diabetics, alcohol can be really dangerous. Sure. Drinking too much alcohol can cause low blood sugar, which can be very dangerous. So mm -hmm. we're here to talk about healthy ways they can still enjoy those drinks without having to go overboard this okay. holiday. Yeah. yeah, what? Okay, start over here. The so pink and the yellow. We are going fine. to make from the American Diabetes Association a reduced carb sangria. And I love this on the website. They have a recipe for both alcoholic and non alcoholic versions. So we're going to put that together today. Okay. So we're going to start. We made up some crystal light drink mix, and I okay. have the container. It's right, right here. Yeah. <laughs> and it's great. It only has five calories, no sugar, no carbs. So this is a great mixer. Awesome. And when we're talking about drinking for with diabetes, the mixers are really what's going to get you. You yeah. want to make sure that you're using low carb, low sugar mixers. So I've got some stuff over here, seltzer, sparkling waters, um, and low calorie juices are going to be the best options. You want to stay away from kind of regular sodas. sodas and stuff, yeah, right. those are really going to get you. Yeah. Juices. Those are going to get you. So these are really nice. They're, they still give you all the flavor you want with all the extra sugar. So we're going to add two cups of our seltzer. Seltzer and sparkling water, they're the same thing. Okay. If you're a diabetic, what you really want to watch out for is tonic because tonic has sugar in it. Okay. 22 mm. grams for a cup. Or really? For a tonic? Okay. Yeah. You know, sometimes people think, oh, tonic's a healthy your choice, but you really want to go for club soda. Okay, club soda. So we've got water. two cups of our seltzer water. I already poured this out. This is going to be a half a cup of lemon juice and a half a cup of lime juice. Okay. Pour that okay. in there. Mm -hmm. okay. Then we have, just Great to color. give us some sweet, we've got from Splenda. Awesome. Mix that in. We're going to add in here, we've got sliced what lemons and here? limes, just to make it nice and fresh. <laughs> Great color. In there. <laughs> and that's what we're going to do for our non-alcoholic version. So I'll pour one here for you. Oh my gosh, how cool. Oh, that's interesting. So then you just sort of mix all that together mix and it that becomes together. the non-alcoholic drink. This is the non-alcoholic oh, version. Yeah. Thank well, you. Well, I'm going to give actually, you this one. Okay. And then if you do want to add in alcohol, what we're going to do is we're going to add in two cups of white wine. So you want to do... Um, yeah, why not? <laughs> <laughs> a light white wine. And so when we're talking, mm, that's good. if you're a diabetic, for women, the mm. recommendation is to have one drink per day. And so when you're out at New Year's, you kind of want to have more than one. So this is a fantastic recipe because it's cutting your alcohol in half. So you can really have two glasses of this with only one mm. serving of alcohol. Now we pour this in here? Pour that in there, and that's for you to enjoy. <laughs> oh, just a little. See, I oh like my this gosh. drink without even the alcohol without in it. Without alcohol in it. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's really good. It's almost Light like, um, and refreshing. Yeah, it tastes like wine. Okay. So I have here some snacks as well because one of the really important things is if you're a diabetic, you need to eat when you're drinking mm -hmm. alcohol. Make sure that you're enjoying your cocktail with a healthy appetizer or with your dinner. Don't ever drink on an empty stomach as a diabetic. Right. Always have something with us. So you've got crackers, cheese. Almonds. The sweets, yep. uh, the sweet uh, uh, We've got oranges. almonds and we've got yeah. some cheese. You want something a little bit hearty, going to keep you full, okay. nothing that has too many carbs. You want some fat and protein in there as That's well. That's a really okay. good idea because I think a lot of people forget about that. Or they're yeah. like, oh, I don't want it. Have too many calories. Trade one for the car. other, and that's, yeah. that's just if you're diabetic or for anyone in general, it's just not safe. Yeah. So you want to make sure you always have a snack with your drink. Yeah. Good point. And again, I love that you also have the um, the different seltzers. They all have different flavors too. They, they have are. some that are flavored, which taste really good. The yeah. Mandarin orange is delicious. So yeah. if you like to have liquor, whether it's vodka or rum, mix it with something like that. It's lower in calories. And do you think is that better than mixing it with like a diet coke? Because a lot of people say, you know, diabetics will drink diet yeah. because they can't drink the right If you're a diabetic, there's really no difference. They have no carbs and no sugar. So okay. it's okay. equivalent there. It could same. be personal taste. Okay. Thing. Yeah, personal Absolutely. Thank you so much, Emily. Thank you so much for having me. <laughs> what are traffic headlines next? Large trucks 